Hey, what's up everyone? It's Corinne. Today I'm going to be doing a thrift with me slash thrift haul and I'm going to be trying some stuff on for you. So yay. This past weekend I visited my parents and I got to go to a Goodwill and some Savers and um, a couple antique stores and I filmed some of the stores that I went to so you'll get to see sort of what I look at and what things caught my eye. I tend to take home a lot less things than I pick up or that I show you. So um, the thrift haul portion of this will be a lot smaller than you think it will be. The things that I did find I'm really excited about. Without further ado, here's the footage. Thing that I did end up getting was a pair of cocktail glasses that I didn't actually show you. They're these, they're a sort of golden yellow glass and they have these little etchings, little patterns on them. There was just two of them, they were a dollar each, but I love this kind of stuff um, for making cocktails and it just makes you feel fancier. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they're from the 70s. I could be very wrong though. My specialty is not in glassware. I'm a clothing person, but um, I thought these were really beautiful. So while in Savers, there were some really beautiful vintage pieces. Um, this black and white blazer I thought was really beautiful and oversized. Didn't end up working out though. This suit, this beige suit from the 70s, also very beautiful. I just don't need any more suits. Look at my, this whole closet right here is suits and jackets. You see I already have a little beige section. <laughs> I don't need any more. Yeah, this is what I mean when I say I'm very picky about the things I bring into my wardrobe these days. Because I just, I don't have room. I like all the things that I have. I don't want to get rid of any. So, you know, you got to make decisions. But, that being said, I bought a blazer. I had to, I'm sorry. It is too beautiful to pass off. So, this is the blazer that I picked up from Savers. You might be like, oh, Corinne, that's a very nice plaid blazer. Thank you for sharing. It's not just any plaid blazer. Let me, can we just take a moment of silence for this? It is from the 70s, obviously. These thick lapels really give that away. Um, it's just like these beautiful blues and sort of tan colors. This is a really good piece to have um, just because it sort of combines warm tones and cool tones. You can really pair this with anything. So, I don't know if you guys can see but it is actually Yves Saint Laurent. Um, it's an Yves Saint Laurent vintage piece, definitely 70s. Sorry, let me just bring out these little gorgeous pocket flaps. There you go. 
look at that and um it also has the YSL on the little buttons correct me if I'm wrong I feel like this is an authentic piece because it also has the Saint Laurent lining I don't know if you can see the words there but it does feel like an authentic piece and it's made out of this beautiful wool it also has the buttons on the cuff I don't know I think it's gorgeous and it happens to fit me perfectly and guess how much it was I'm waiting guess four dollars and fifty cents <laughs> what are you kidding me like four dollars and fifty cents for this I mean, even if it wasn't YSL, I would have bought it, you know, it's just like a really beautiful statement piece, but are you kidding with these? It has a double vent in the back, very 70s. Um, it's just gorgeous. Fits me perfectly. It's like a men's small, so fits these tiny little shoulders. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with it and no one could have stopped me. I saw it from across the store. I was like, hmm, probably going to buy that. Went up to it, freaked out, and then went directly to the cash register. I was like, this is mine. No one can stop me. There was just no nothing else mattered anymore. I was like, this is what I will be getting. This is what my life will be. It will be this blazer. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let's move on. I added different savers. I also found a pair of shoes. I've been into a lot of like 70s styles recently, um, shoe wise, but also clothing wise. They are these Continentals Bali, made in Switzerland. So there are these um, like suede and leather shoes. They have this gorgeous gold accent. It's not like a buckle or anything. It's just like a little hardware piece. And then this incredible, um, just little like flap, I guess, that goes over the toe. Um, a nice almond shaped toe, a nice stacked heel. I do think they are women's because they fit me perfectly and they're an eight and a half and I'm an eight and a half. So I can't imagine that they're an eight and a half men's, but they are perfect leather soles. I think they're gorgeous soling they're gorgeous what can I say look at these and they were only $12 the other couple things that I bought from savers are actually two button-up shirts I love my button-ups um, this particular one is from the 70s just to a little sh show and tell but it has like little people and scenes on it and sort of like a, a printed faux denim color but I've been wanting ones that fit more like this because I have a lot of oversized shirts and this is quite like streamlined I bought this it is silver it's a silver shirt it is definitely men's it's definitely some level of vintage I don't quite know what period what time it is from but the buttons are beautiful there are these little silvery things the one thing that is wrong with it this button is chipped and that's fine you know why because a little secret if you're ever buying men's shirts specifically but you know any garment that has buttons should have an extra stash hidden on the inside usually it's like either in the front of the shirt like this or it's somewhere in like on a tag on the side just so you know for the future but there happens to be two ones ready for me to replace it with I just love that it's silver and the collar fits me really well it's like a nice stiff it has the boning the same boning that these do in here and it's by the brand A. Lewis's collection it's really cute you know so the next shirt that I found is also from the 70s another 70s piece I'm in a mood 
So this is the collar. You can see that vintage tag. It's beautiful by Jason. It has these little white, just like creamy white buttons down the front. They're all there, but I think it gives it a good little accent. And the most special part of this shirt are the French cuffs. <laughs> I love French cuffs. I've been wanting a French cuff shirt for a while. Like, I love the idea of this kind of, like, fat cuff sticking out of a blazer or, like, a suit. Um, just to give it, like, a little something extra. So, yeah, it has these, um, French cuffs, which I think traditionally you fold them up like this. So they go around your wrist you know, like this, and then you use a cuff link to attach them, um, which is a super classy look. I only have one pair of cuff links right now, and they're green and glittery, and I think paired with red, it would come off way too Christmassy. I think it's a really fun color. So this next part of the haul is actually what I'm the most excited about. This was a gold mine. I just walked into this Pacific Goodwill. I went right to the ties and I stayed there for like 20 minutes looking through everything because there were so many ties and every single one that I found was so good and I was just like overwhelmed and stressed. I was like I need to find like every possible good tie in this bunch of ties or I'm going to let myself down. They're all vintage, they're all beautiful. Here we go. So this is one of the ties. It is a Oscar de la Renta stripey tie. It has sort of this like chartreuse color, brown and some orange actually in it. And I just think this would be a really good like fall or spring tie. Um, especially to go with all of my brown suits. The tie that I'm arguably the most excited by is this one. It's this giant 1970s wool tie. I don't know if you can tell the scale. It's like the size of my face. I think this is a good six inch width and it's, uh, you know, tones of blue with some white. Um, it is paoli. And as you can see, it is made in Scotland, um, which I'm not surprised because it's like the most beautiful wool. Just to give you an idea of scale, this would be the size of it tied on my chest. <laughs> it's perfect. I'm so excited. It gives me like Vivian Westwood vibes, kind of. The other tie that I think is great is this khaki tie. It is, um, again, vintage, as you can see. It's wool and Dacron. And it's just like, you know, it's got a nice texture to it. It's a great basic color. I really want to wear this with some, like, khaki pants and a white shirt. I think that would be kind of preppy and fun. And you can't tell now because the sun is setting. Fun for me. Um, but it has this sort of like sheen to it, which I think is really beautiful. The next tie that I'm really excited about is this green tie. I believe it's from the 60s, possibly the 50s. I'm not super up on my tie history, but I do have a basic understanding. So correct me if I'm wrong, but it's this green tie and it has this gorgeous little embroidery. It's like white thread with these little white cubes and it's just, it's like a skinnier tie very beautiful color. It is acetate and rayon. Um, it's just like a nice basic little cutie tie. Another one, I think probably the same owner donated both of these. It's this little, little mustard boy. Um, it has these great little, I think it's embroidery, these little like insets. It looks like some kind of crest. If anyone has any information about this, I would love to know more. But yeah, it has these sort of like subtle um, like markings in the material. It's sort of patterned all the way through and there's little diamonds and the little embroideries are in the diamonds. And I really love where this embroidery hits. It hits like mid chest. So it's just like it'll, it'll come up above 
any vest that you're wearing with it. Um, it's just like a great little spot to have something. And this is by Artcrest. You can see. Such a cute little label. I love labels as much as I love vintage garments. So it's always a treasure for me to see all of these things. Speaking of vintage labels, we have a good one on this one. So this tie is great. It is actually from the 40s. Um, it's it's a very short little tie. It kind of, I think it comes comes to like my belly button actually. So it's like, you know, a nice short length tie. A lot of the ties in the 40s were quite short for those of you who don't know that. But I just love the pattern. And there's also actually a I don't know if you can see, but a iridescence to it. There's like little hearts on it. And um, I think this is very beautiful. The label is N.E. Mag and Sons, New Britain. I don't know anything about this company, but if you do, please let me know. Um, anyway, that's it. Super cute, super beautiful. And I think this would go great with that red shirt. And then the final one, which I believe is also from the 40s, um, is this bad boy. Again, with the, like, crests. This could be 40s. I think it's 40s, but it might also be 70s. I don't know. But it has, like, these little floral crests on it with these other little details and then these lines that sort of separate the three designs. I love that they're like slightly off center. I love the sort of width of it and the shape of the bottom. And I love the rust color with these little stripes going through it. And it looks like little kind of bubbles. Again, I think this would go great with a lot of my brown suits. The next two things um, I want to talk about really quickly because they were actually my dad's and although I didn't buy them they're new into my life and I'm really excited to be wearing them. The first one is this little um, Pendleton red and gray plaid vest. It has wool all the way around it which I think is really special. And then on one side it has these great silver buttons which I just think like center a look and they sort of bring attention to the middle of you which is always very flattering and um, I think this would pair well with that red shirt that I bought potentially who knows and then the other thing is this mustard vest it has these um, amazing silver -y buttons to little pockets um this sort of like v-shape in the bottom and it is all knit it's a knit material and it's got this great tag it's um alexander's made in italy i just love these pieces just to think about like my father buying this and like being excited about it and keeping it for so long because he loved it so much and then like I get it and that's exciting that's cool to me and yeah that's everything in my haul today it's getting dark so I have to end this that's why I've been trying to be as quick as possible but yeah I hope you liked some of the things that I bought I don't know I think they're fun I think they're beautiful would really love to know which one is your favorite thing and if you have any information for me about any of these labels I would love to know more, um, so please comment below if you can. And again, if you like my style, please feel free to check out my Instagram. I post a lot of outfits there and a lot of my work. I'm a costume designer, so I'd love, you know, all of your eyes to be there as well. Anyway, so that's been my thrift haul. I will see you in the next video. Bye!